Hello everyone, this is Sandra at The Whispering Well. So today's video is just going to be sh showing like um, a surprise gift that I received in the mail. It's very exciting. And it was from, see if you can guess. <laughs> it was from um, our lovely Gerald over at Tarot Stash is his youtube channel he also has um another channel um which is the hermit mage on his tarot stash channel he tends to do flip throughs of decks and alternative things on his um hermit mage channel including some lives so if you haven't checked um gerald out please go over to his channel i'll put the links below for both of his channels so yeah so he sent me a lovely surprise gift um there is a note on the reverse of this card which i won't um read out but that's the first bit that was inside and then we had this so i thought <gasps> deviant moon how creepy is that picture though on the back it says oliver irving Fenwood Asylum, 1928. Oliver is a good boy, so says mother. Wow, it's creepy, isn't it? And the blood splatters and everything. So what Gerald sent me, so exciting, is the Triomphi della Luna Purple Paradoxical. Now, I already have the uh, Blue Paradoxical, which I love. And I was thinking about getting this one. And then um, after the whole Brexit thing, Patrick Valenza wasn't shipping to the UK anymore. So I thought, OK, I've got the blue one. So that's great. But yeah, so Gerald got me this. And it's so, so kind and generous of him. And it always, you know, surprises me when people want to gift things to me not that anyone has to and i do want to state that no one ever has to gift me anything at all of course i do very much appreciate anything that is gifted to me um, it's very very much appreciated and treasured as you know a gift from a friend so it it is lovely so like don't get me wrong there but um yeah it's just just so nice and I just think wow you know people want to give me things really <laughs> so anyway this is the box so that's the chariot card on the back so it's just a normal um tuck box and this is the paradoxical purple deluxe so this is the title card triomphe della luna paradoxical purple 2014 patrick valenza and that's the back and then we have the deck so let's have a look at the deck this is such a chunky thick deck because it's the deluxe um edition so and i know you know people probably have seen this before but i just wanted to you know show it for anyone that hasn't and also obviously as a thank you to gerald for um sending this to me it's it's just lovely and i love it it's just brilliant so that's the full these are the backs in purple of our magician look at this lovely like lilac-y kind of color on his cloak i love the legs too on this table that are actual legs with feet on <laughs> High Priestess. I 
love this green colour too. I mean, look at those purple flames. The Empress. So cool. This greeny kind of aqua colour really stands out on these cards too. We have the Emperor. This purple pet. And you get like this almost pinky purple on some of it as well, which almost reminds me of the uh, Rose Paradoxical, which is the uh, pink colour one. The Hierophant. God, I just love this. The Lovers. Look how cool he looks. So good. Chariot. Justice. See, it's lovely the different tones of the colours, the different purples to almost a pinky purple and then this lovely green that goes through some of them as well. Oh, look at our hermit. Very cool. The Wheel of Fortune, some nice different colours in this one, the eye in the centre, oh I love this, look at this strength card, this is one of my favourites in the blue version as well, how cool is that, I love that, and this side of the face being that greeny colour, the hanged man, and you see, when he's got this kind of green colour and then puts a pink or a purpley colour around it, it's like it stands out of the cards. Like it really, it almost glows out of the cards. Death. Temperance. Look at the elephant in the background. The devil. He's really cool, isn't he? So he's not completely purple like you might think. He's got the green and then he's got a purple head and legs and then this more pinky purple for his wings at the back there. The star. The tower. So cool. Every time I look at these, I'm just like, oh. You know, the colouring, but also the artworks. I just love, like, Patrick Valenza's art. It's, it's definitely my sort of art. Anything strange and weird. <laughs> the sun. Judgment. And we have the world in this very green colour with a pink around here. It really stands out, doesn't it? It looks like now we have the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. And these stand out quite well as well in these sections here. Nine of Swords and our Ten of Swords. And then we have our Page. He's really cool, isn't he? It's just like great. This colouring, I'm loving this colouring as well. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords this here and the king of swords then we have the ace of wands look at this hand those long nails two of wands three of wands four of wands five of wands six of wands 
Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Then we have our Page of Wands. I love the court cards in this in these decks. The Knight of Wands. His animal here looks a bit fierce, doesn't he? Oh, look at this Queen of Wands. Love the colouring in this. Wow, all these faces behind her. And the purple coming out of the top of the wand. Wow, I love her. And our King of Wands. We have our cups. So the Ace of Cups. That's lovely. This, this reminds me of like one of those little fairy houses or a fairy castle, you know, a little door going inside. <laughs> Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. Again, the lovely greens mixed in with this. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. And it's even like a green like border around which really stands out as well five of cups six of cups seven of cups the eight of cups nine of cups and the ten of cups some green liquid pouring from that one we have our page of cups look at him The Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, wow, very cool, and the King of Cups. And then we're on to our last suit, which is the uh, coins. So we have the Ace of Coins, the Two of Coins, and we've got Deviant Moon, New York 2016. The Three of Coins. I love all this, like, uh, plant life <laughs> going on in there. It's lovely. It really looks nice. Four of Coins. Lovely shield in the middle. Five of Coins. Six of Coins. And we've got the Eye in the middle. Seven of Coins. Eight of coins, nine of coins, and the ten of coins. Then we have our page of coins, the face here, <laughs> the knight of coins. He's not going anywhere very quickly, is he? Look at this. This dragon is like, nope, not doing it. Queen of Coins, look at these cats. Like, give me. <laughs> and the King of Coins. So, you know, they are really, really great cards. And then we have um, some extras. So we have some extra art cards, I think, and oracle cards, I think, with this deck. So that was number one. Two, three, four, look at this, the different colours on these flying beings, number five, a quite scary face, six, oh I like him, wow, I like that figure, and all the little like puppets, Seven. Oh, see a lot of people wouldn't say that is cute I do though <laughs> but look how her sort of cloak is like a face too the eight it's a bit like the strength card isn't it in like RWS nine 
uh, number 10. And then we have some other cards here. Oh, that's very cool. I love the colours in that one. And these, you know, could be used like an oracle deck. Look at him. Five. Six. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Seven. Not so cute. Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> this is like something is being emitted from his backside and he's like looking what's that One, oh, I love this like dragon type creature, and then we have Bacchus, very cool, the devil. So, these are like ones that you could swap out, you know, you could put this devil in instead of the one that's in the main deck, and the same with the star. And then we have the lightning, so this would be like the tower. I really like that. I think I swapped this one out. Yeah, I think I'm certain I did in the blue deck, so I, I may, for the purple deck, keep the other one in and keep this one in for the blue deck. So I've got the two different ones, so like do the opposite. And then we've got the House of God card and an, a different judgment card. So that is the entire deck, guys. And this is the Deluxe Paradoxical Purple from Deviant Moon, which was a really lovely gift from Gerald over at tarot stash and the hermit mage and thank you again gerald it's just it's it's really lovely it's so kind of you to send me this and of course it will be um treasured as it was gifted to me so i hope everyone enjoyed having a look at this and i'll talk to you again soon bye <laughs>